Good morning, Guardians. This is X. This week, I'm going to go over the Vendor Weekly Resets. Hopefully, you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday morning or Tuesday afternoon or evening, wherever you guys are throughout the world. Hopefully, it's a great reset. Hopefully, you guys get your Taken King raid completed today. Hopefully, you guys enjoy King's Fall. First off, I'm going to start over at the new monarchy how we doing today let's see what he's got for us this week so this week's assembly 2 it has the reflex sight sure shot is and the oeg rifle scope extended magazine which grants you a larger magazine which this is a bullet hose style auto rifle so it has the high rate of fire, low impact. So this starts off with 56 rounds in each magazine. So this is going to bump it up probably about 65, I believe. Also comes with lightweight, perfect balance, spray and play, and hidden hand. For me, this is just an average rolled auto rifle. Um, the perks are all right. It's not great for PvE or PvP. So let's move on to the next weapon here. The Free Will 3 Hand Cannon. This week it comes with Steady Hand IS, Fast Draw IS, and Quick Draw. With high caliber rounds, lightweight, perfect balance, outlaw, and rangefinder. Now rangefinder is really good on hand cannons since they just took a range nerf. But since there's no other perk besides rangefinder to give this hand cannon some range... I would say go ahead and skip it this week. The sidearm this week, we have Steady Hand, Sure Shot, and Quick Draw IS Sights, Flared Magwell, Lightweight, Fitted Stock, Army of One, and Hidden Hand. Again, since this one doesn't really have a, a range perk, or kind of a big thing now for sidearms is the high caliber rounds. I would say go ahead and pass on it this week as well. It's just an average hand cannon, nothing too special. Now for the deposition, we have Sykes's Short Gaze, and Eagle Eye. Obviously, Short Gaze SLH-10 is the one of the shortest zoom scopes, so that's what everybody's going to gravitate to. Um, skip rounds, lightweight, perfect balance, triple tap, and unflinching. Again... Nothing too special, just another average sniper rifle. Um, triple tap's not bad for PvE. First Citizen LMG for New Monarchy. We have CQB Ballistics, Smart Drift Control, Fill Choke, Extended Magazine, Lightweight, Perfect Balance, Crowd Control, and Hidden Hand. Now this is in the high rate of fire low range archetype of lmgs it's not bad um, it does have 77 rounds in the magazine um, a lot of rounds the perfect balance will help give it that little bit more stability but crowd control also gives you that uh weapon bonus damage for a short time after you get a kill so it's not bad for pve um, i would not use it for pvp there are better choices out there. Alright, now we're going to check out the Crucible Quartermaster weapons. Let's see what they have this week. For the auto rifle, the Zero Day Dilemma. It has a Red Dot ORA, Quick Draw, and the OEG Rifle Scope. Not the best scopes, but some people do like them. Um, this one comes with Crowd Control. And Grenadier, Small Bore, Appended Magazine, and Persistence. I believe that this is just an average auto rifle um, for both PvE and PvP. There's way better options out there. For the Pulse, the pulse Rifle, the B29 Party Favor. We have the uh, Reflex Sight, 
Sure Shot, and OEG sights. This week it comes with Rodeo, Take a Knee, Small Bore, Feather Mag, and Counterbalance. So this one has pretty good range and good starting stability. So you could run Rodeo. That's going to kind of reduce the recoil along with Counterbalance. Um, small Bore is an alright perk, but it does take you down in magazine size. Um, Feather Mag, as long as you have gauntlets or for your speed reload, I see it kind of being useless. Um, take a knee, I don't see that it's a valuable perk. So again, with the way that these rolls are, I would just say this is just another average pulse rifle. The Hero Formula Scout Rifle. We have the Red Dot ORA, the Range Lens, and the Rifle Scope. Has life support, last resort, small bore, high cow, and firefly. Now, the way that I would run this would be life support, high cow, so you stagger your opponents both in PvE and PvP. And firefly is always a good perk, especially for PvE. Um, I would say that this is above average for PvE and PvP. So the palindrome this week. We have Steady Hand, Sure Shot, Quick Draw. Um, sure Shot, for me personally, in my opinion, is the better sight. It's the one that I feel more, more comfortable with. Um, this week it comes with Outlaw, Partial Refund, Hammer Forge, Explosive Rounds, and Luck in the Chamber. So these top three perks do work very well with each other. Um, if it had like Rifle Barrel, I would say that it would be close to top tier um, this is better than average uh, everybody loves anything in the middle for range for hand cannons I think this is a pretty good roll um, luck in the chamber also causes considerable more damage with one round um, just randomly in the magazine it'll proc you'll get extra damage it's awesome the fusion rifle each new day the Reflex Sight, the Red Dot ORA, and the OEG Sight. This week comes with Spray and Play, Last Resort, Hand Laid Stock, Enhanced Battery, and Hidden Hand. Just another run of the mill uh, fusion rifle. The Curtain Call comes with Linear Compensator, CQB Ballistics, and Aggressive Ballistics. Close and Personal, Battle Runner. Rifle Barrel, Quick Draw, and Crowd Control. So, it's a good shotgun. Nothing fancy. For the sidearm, Steady Hand, Fast Draw, and Quick Draw IS Sights. Relentless Tracker, Army of One, Fitted Stock, Casket Mag, and Hot Swap. Nothing too fancy to see. For the Event Horizon, it has your Sykes, your View Tack, and your Ambush Sight. The Ambush is in the same category as the Short Gaze for low zoom value. Underdog, Spray and Play, Skip Rounds, Casket Mag, and Unflinching. Just another average sniper. CQB Ballistics, Smooth Ballistics, and Field Choke for the Chaotic Neutral. Life Support, Gorilla Fighter, Perfect Balance, Armor Piercing Rounds, and Hidden Hand. Not a bad PvE LMG there. Something Wicked Auto, this is the uh, Rocket Launcher. Aggressive Launch, Smart Drift Control, and Counter Mass. I would probably run the counter mass on this if you guys do decide to purchase it just because it gives you more velocity so it'll make it a little bit quicker. Um, Battle Runner, Last Resort, Perfect Balance, Field Scout, and Cluster Bombs. Not that good of a rocket launcher. So now we're going to run over to the Vanguard Quartermaster. Alright, let's see what the Vanguard Quartermaster has for this weekly reset. The Continental Auto Rifle, the Red, the Red Dot ORAZ, Quick Draw, and the Rifle Scope. 
Rodeo, Hip Fire, Perfect Balance, Appendix Magazine, and Counterbalance. So again, with Rodeo and the other two stability perks, this thing's going to shoot lasers. The Parthian Shot Pulse Rifle. It has the Reflex Sight, Steady Hand, and OEG Sights. Secret Round, Take a Knee, Perfect Balance, Rifle Barrel, and Counterbalance. This might actually be a pretty good roll. Um, the first two perks, Take a Knee and Secret Round, I don't think are very useful. But having Perfect Balance, I would actually use Rifle Barrel to give you that more range and plus Counterbalance for your stability increase. Angel's Advocate Scout Rifle. We have the Reflex Sight, Range Lens, and... Let me, excuse me, this has the MD Reflex, the Range Lens, and just the regular Reflex Sight. Life Support, Take a Knee, Small Bore, Armor Piercing Rounds, and Return to Send It. Another average Scout Rifle. How Dare You Hand Cannon this week? We have Quick Draw, Fast Draw, and True Sight. I would use True Sight over the other two in this choice, but that, again, is a personal choice. Uh, triple Tap, Rescue Mag, Reinforced Barrel, Casket Mag, Reactive Reload. I think that that one's a terrible roll this week. I would stay away from it. Um, Reflex Sight, Red Dot ORA 2, and the OEG Sight on the X Astris Fusion Rifle for the Vanguard. Uh, spray and Play, Replenish, Brace frame, enhanced battery, and eye of the storm. Having that stability is very nice on a fusion rifle. It helps keep your bolts in a tighter group. Not a bad fusion rifle. The Teacup Tempest sidearm. Steady hand, fast draw, quick draw, uh, mulligan, crowd control, fitted stock, lightweight, hot swap. Nothing too fancy on that. I would skip it this week. Ocas Occam's Razor, excuse me. Uh, it has smooth ballistics, CQB ballistics, and soft ballistics. It comes with replenish, life support, small bore, quick draw, and range finder. For me personally, if I were to run this, I would have to run with the smooth ballistics, live support, small board, just to give you a little bit more range and range finder. It's just an average shotgun. There are better choices out there, especially the Matador, the Party Crasher, um, which, if you don't know, the range finder perk for shotguns have been nerfed, and basically it takes longer for you to equip and to ADS to get the full extent of your rangefinder perk now. For the sniper rifle seventh sense, we have Sykes's short gaze taxes, grenadier, life support, explosive rounds, snapshot, and unflinching. The way that I would run this would be short gaze, life support, snapshot, and unflinching. The only problem with this archetype of snipers is it is a low impact, higher rate of fire. So for PvE, I think it would work great. For PvP, definitely you can use it um, for, I would say, sixes. But for any of the three, three, 3v3 three playlists, there's way better choices out there. The Bone Crusher, LMG... Aggressive Ballistics, Smart Drift Control, Fill Choke. The perks are Feeding Frenzy, Gorilla Fighter, Small Bore, Rifle Barrel, and Crowd Control. Uh, the way I would run this particular LMG if I were to use it would be Smart Drift Control, Feeding Frenzy, Rifle Barrel. Um, but again, this is kind of a mid archetype for Rate of Fire. It does have high impact, decent starting range but terrible stability. Disassembly required rocket launcher. We have confined launch, soft launch, and counter mass. Uh, vacuum, last resort, quick draw, javelin, 
cluster bombs. Nothing fancy there. Let's run over and see what Dead Orbit has for this week. All right. Extremophile 011. It comes with the MD Reflex Sight, Steady Hand IS, and OEG Rifle Scope. Armor Piercing Rounds, Snapshot, Small Bore, Rodeo, Hidden Hand. It's just average. The Keystone 01 Scout Rifle. The Red Dot ORA Sight, the Focus Lens, and the Reflex. It has Armor Piercing Rounds. Quick draw, perfect balance, third eye, and crowd control. It's not bad for PvE. The Worlds to Come 001 Fusion Rifle has the Reflex Sight, the Red Dot ORA, and the OEG Sight. Enhanced Battery, Snapshot, Perfect Balance, Performance Bonus, and Hot Swap. Just an average fusion rifle I wish they'd make them a little more relevant these days uh, the plant sees usually the fusion rifle people are gravitating towards for the last ditch we have aggressive ballistics accurized ballistics and linear compensator the perks are flared magwell snapshot small bore close and personal and range finder I just think that that one's average as well the Bitter Edge 010 comes with the Hawkeye SL, SLR 15, Ambush, and the ViewTech. The perks Armor Piercing Rounds, Snapshot, Hammer Forge, Mulligan, and Unflinching. Again, this is a high rate of fire, low impact. Not bad for PvE. Way better choices for PvP. I would skip it this week. Unto Dust 00, Zero Rocket Launcher for Dead Orbit has Warhead Veneers, Linear Compensator, Counter Mass. The perks are Field Scout, Snapshot, Perfect Balance, Spray and Play, and Grenades and Horseshoes. Now, these are not bad perks by any mean, but the problem with this Rocket Launcher is the starting out blast radius and velocity are just terrible. It, it could have a top tier roll but because of the slow velocity and the blast radius being just terrible in my opinion, it's not even worth the time. Maybe Future War Cult will have something nice that everybody wants. We'll start off with the Whale Hand Cannon. It has True Sight, Sure Shot, and Quick Draw. Explosive Rounds, Hit Fire, Perfect balance, hot swap, and range finder. Since there's no range perk in the middle, it's not worth it. The Waltz Pulse Rifle, this is in like the Grasp of Malik archetype, the high fire rate, low impact. Um, it has the Reflex Sight, Steady Hand IS, OEG Sight. Now, uh, this is where it gets interesting. It has the high caliber rounds, hit fire. Perfect balance, third eye, and counterbalance. So, to me, this is a top tier roll because it has a great sight. It has your high caliber rounds. It has your perfect balance to give it that better stability and counterbalance to increase the stability even further. And also, it the recoil pattern with counterbalance is all all three rounds are vertical instead of one it being like. One, two, and then the third shot's either off to the right or off to the left. This will keep all three shots vertical, so it makes the recoil easier to control. I'll probably buy this and play with this. I think this would be a good roll for PvP. So I'm probably going to buy that one. The Waiting Fusion Rifle. We have Reflex. Red Dot ORA and the OEG site. This week it comes with accelerated coils, lightweight, small bore, performance bonus, and hot swap. Not a 
I'd say it's better than average fusion rifle. The Wounded Scout Rifle. We have the MD Reflex, the Focus Lens, and the OEG Sights. It comes with Armor Piercing Rounds, Snapshot, Small Bore, Outlaw, and Crowd Control. I think this would be a good Scout Rifle for PvE, for sure. Um, having the Snapshot and Armor Piercing Rounds. Um, in PvE, I don't think these perks matter too much, but having Outlaw to help get that increased reload speed and getting multiple kills with this with the 15 round magazine pretty good for PVE the warm wood sidearm we have steady hand fast draw and quick draw sights it comes with armor piercing rounds snapshot hand loaded army of one and rangefinder now if armor piercing rounds was the high caliber rounds I would say this would be top tier um, Future War Cole has sold last week was a great roll uh, warm web and since sidearms are very popular now this one outside of the first two perks a snapshot will be useful in PvP um, with hand loaded and rangefinder so it's, it's a pretty good roll the Warpath rocket launcher we have Warhead Veneers, Soft Launch, and Hard Launch with Field Scout, Snapshot, Heavy Payload, Tripod, and Cluster Bombs. Again, just like the Dead Orb Rocket Launcher, the velocity is just garbage. Um, it does have decent perks with it this week, but that would just turn me away from using it. Alright guys, that is all of the vendor rolled weapons after the reset this week. I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. Hopefully you get all your Nightfalls done and get into your Kingfalls raid and complete that with all the challenge modes. Um, this week the challenge modes will be for the War Priest, Golgoroth, and Oryx. I don't believe anything has changed from the challenges back when King's Fall was the newest raid. So get out there squad up, kick some butt, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.